हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैड सॉल्व्ड टू प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू जॉइंट प्रोबेबिलिटी मैट्रिक्स एज यू गाइस वर डिमांडिंग इट सो प्लीज वॉच दो वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो विद रिस्पेक्ट टू चैनल डायग्राम आई एम गोइंग टू बी सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम ओके टू डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम आई ऑलरेडी सॉल्व इट आई एक्सप्लेन इट प्लीज योर जॉब इज टू लिसन टू द वीडियो टिल दी एंड and uh, let us know whether the videos are satisfiable or not and please like this video guys subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet and let us know how the videos are okay yeah so the question goes like this for the channel diagram given below with this is the channel diagram uh, find the values of h of a h of b h of a comma b h of a by b h of b by a and the mutual information i of a comma b the probabilities are given for a1 a2 and a3 okay so p of a1 p of a2 p of a3 they have already given it and based on the channel diagram you need to be writing the channel matrix okay so we know that channel matrix is given in terms of p of b by a right so here you should be writing the channel matrix with respect to the channel diagram you know right how to write the channel matrix in general i have told you already p of b by a is written as p of b1 by a1 p of b2 by a1 p of b3 by a1 p of b1 by a2 b2 by a2 b3 by a2 and it goes on okay since we are having three rows and three columns because we are having only a1 a2 a3 and b1 b2 b3 in the channel diagram and based on that that probabilities you need to be writing now p of b1 by a1 has the probability consider b1 and a1 okay so see the line join in that line which probability is flowing 0.8 that you write it here and uh, for b1 sorry b2 by a1 consider b2 and a1 the probability flowing through this line is 0.2 you write it here whereas for p of b3 by a1 b3 and a1 there is no correction so that's why the probability is zero similarly b1 by a2 b1 and a2 the line in this line the probability flowing is 0.1 and for b2 by a2 probability is 0.8 b3 by a2 probability is 0.1 so they have written it 0.1 0.8 0.1 and uh, b1 by a3 there is no probability so it is zero b2 by a3 it is 0.2 b3 by a3 it is 0.8 so 0.2 0.8 like this you need to be writing p of b by a now we know that in order to get the joint probability matrix p of a comma b we have a relation that is p of b by a into p of a okay so we are we have we got the channel matrix p of b by a also they are also in the question they have mentioned the probabilities of a1 a2 a3 there is 0.5 0.3 0.2 directly multiply and write the joint probability matrix so point first first row should be multiplied with 0.5 second row should be multiplied with 0.3 third row should be multiplied with 0.2 so 0.8 into 0.5 it is 0.4 0.2 into 0.5 0.1 0.50 0.1 into 0.3 0.03 0.8 into 0.3 0.24 0.1 into 0.3 0.05 0.6 into 0.20 0.2 into 0.20 0.04 0.8 into 0.8 0.16 like this you would be getting the joint probability matrix now already probability of a is given in order to be solving for h of b you need to be knowing the probability of b as well okay so add the column elements that is for b1 it is 0.4 plus 0.03 that is 0.43 for b2 it is 0.1 plus 0.24 plus 0.04 that is 0.38 for b3 it is 0.03 plus 0.16 that is 0.19 okay so like this you have got the set of probabilities of p of a and p of b now put it in the equation to solve h of a and h of b so h of a this is the equation go through it with respect to the list of probabilities i have split the summation and i have got the answer as 1.48 just pause the video and refer it because i won't be able to dictate because it will be taking a lot of time so just go through it okay h of b also it is given as summation of j equal to 1 to 3 p of bj log of 1 divided by p of bj 
probabilities of B are mentioned here that have uh, splitted the summations and written it and have got the answer as 1.5. Okay, please put it in the calculator and refer it and whether and let me know whether there is a mistake or not. Okay, if the answer are somehow near nearer value estimated nearer value then it is no problem. But if you see larger variation then please let me know in the comments. Okay, yeah. No H of A H of B now H of A comma B that is all the possible values that is 0 0.4 0 0.1 all these values we should be taking the logarithmic functions with respect to that and add all of them okay we would be getting the answer as 2.26 bits per message symbol now with respect to that calculate h of a comma b h of b comma a and i of a comma b okay so h of a comma b h of a plus h of b by a the same thing in the previous uh, problems also i have told you right that only here it, it is done so yeah so bring h of b by a to other side this to other side so we'll be getting h of b by a is equal to h of a comma b minus h of a so these two values are we have already found it out substitute it we'll be getting 0.78 similarly h of a comma b we are getting it as 0.76 and put it in the mutual information formula h of a plus h of b minus h of a comma b you will be getting the answer as 0.72 okay so one more problem with respect to JPM it is given here you see here the joint probability matrix JPM of the channel with input and output signals is given below these are the three things which you need to be doing here calculate H of A, H of B, H of A by B, B by A, A comma B and I of A comma B that is the one first thing draw the channel diagram okay channel diagram must be drawn by seeing the channel matrix channel matrix is p of b by a right so our job is to find the channel matrix and then draw it okay after that find the rate of information transmitted if rs is 1000 symbols per second rate of information also i have told you in one of my video it is given by uh, r suffix t that is r suffix t is equal to i of a comma b into rs okay so this i have told you in one of my videos that thing you should be doing yeah so first the first part let us do it they have given the joint probability matrix here that is uh, 3 by 40 1 by 40 1 by 40 1 by 20 3 by 20 1 by 20 1 by 8 1 by 8 3 by 8 okay so this is the joint probability matrix for that now find the probabilities of a1 a2 a3 and b1 b2 b3 by adding the terms for a1 these three terms you add that is 3 by 40, 1 by 40, 1 by 40, that is 5 by 40, that is also equal to 0 0.125, 1 by 20, 3 by 20, 1 by 20, that is 5 by 20, that is equal to 0 0.25, 1 by 8, 1 by 8, 3 by 8, that is 5 by 8, that is uh, 0 0.625, okay. Similarly, P of B1, P of B2, P of B3, that is in this way you added, that is 3 by 40, 1 by 20, 1 by 8. This difficult to add, so common the denominators. How you could be commoning it by this? You could be writing it as uh, if you want to make this 40, so this would be 2 by 40, and if you want to make this 40 into 5, so it would be 5 by 40. So now 3 plus 2 plus 5, that is uh, 10 by 40, so, and 10 by 40 is 0. 0.25. Okay. Also, the same thing goes here also. Here in order to make this 40, multiply it by 2, so 6 by 40. And here also in order to make this 40, multiply it by 5, so 5 by 40. So 1 plus 6, 7 plus 5, 12. So 12 by 40 is 0.3. You check it, okay? Put it in the calculator and check it whether it's correct or not. Next here also, to make this 40, multiply it by 2, so 2 by 40. So this you multiply it by 5, so 3 5 is a 15 by 40. So 15 plus 2 17 plus 1 18. 18 by 40 is 0.45. Okay. Like this you find the probabilities of A and B sets. Then the same thing. Calculate H of A. H of B. Okay. So here uh, after splitting the values of probabilities of A and B. I have calculated H of A as 1.29. Verify it. Okay. And H of B as 1.54. H of A comma B as 2.66 bits per message symbol and h of b by a as 1.37 pause the video and refer it okay verify it h of 
a by b as 1.12 the information mutual information as 0.17 now to draw the channel diagram i have told you we need the channel matrix p of b by a already we have p of a by b and we know that we have one relation with respect to the channel matrix that is it is given by p of a comma b is equal to p of b by a into p of a and uh, in order to get p of b by a bring this to other side so p of b by a is equal to p of a comma b divided by p of a okay so that's why what you need to be doing is whatever the joint probability matrix is there that is uh, this matrix and the probabilities of uh, a i have written it you should be dividing it that is 3 by 40 divided by 0.125 if you divide it you would be getting 0.6 1 by 40 divided by 0 0.125 0 0.2 1 by 40 divided by 0 0.125 0 0.2 1 by 20 divided by 0 0.25 0 0.2 3 by 20 divided by 0 0.25 0 0.6 1 by 20 divided by 0 0.25 0 0.2 and so on with the third column also okay like this if you do you would be getting the channel matrix now it is easy to draw the uh, channel diagram draw the three dots here a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 and join all three of them there is no zero value so that's why all three uh, values would be joined here a1 to b1 a1 to b2 a1 to b3 and from a1 to b1 the value is 0 0.6 okay note it as right mark this arrow and write it as 0 0.6 and a1 to b2 the value is 0 0.2 a1 to b3 the value is 0 0.2 a2 to b1 0.2 a2 to b2 0.6 a2 to b3 0.2 a3 to b1 0.2 a3 to b2 0.2 a3 to b3 0.6 like this you should be drawing the channel diagram and finally the information rate is given by R suffix t is equal to i of a comma b into r of s where the mutual information we have calculated it as 0.17 into 1000 and we would be getting the information rate as 170 bits per second okay yeah so like this you need to be solving the problems related to joint probability matrix okay i know that i have not uh, uh, dictated all the steps in detail but uh, it, if I do that, the video would be much lengthier because I don't have time now because I need to needed to be doing the module 4 videos as well. So that's why I thought to do it in a quick manner. I hope you compromise with it because I have already told the dictated steps in the dictated manner in the starting problems. So that's why it won't be a much effective. So please uh, cooperate it guys. Okay. Because there is less time left and uh, still more two modules are pending. So that's why I'm doing a, it in it a bit hurry. So please cooperate and uh, yeah. That's all for this video guys. We'll see you with some more concepts of module 3 with, with related to source coding theorem, channel capacity, binary symmetric channels, those things let us see in the upcoming videos. Okay. So yeah, that's all for this video guys. Thank you.